So this is a blackhead and pimple kit. I actually did it backwards. So I already did a video and I'm just gonna put it right on the end of me working using them, trying them on my son's face. And they worked really well. But this is what comes in the kit. This one here is the one that you would use this is like to pop a pimple the yeah, head. Burn the trash. Huh? Burn the trash. Okay. You would use this one to pop the head. And then this little hole is for, let's see if you could see it. You would put that over a pimple and you just press down lightly. So instead of coming in and squeezing a pimple like this, and that's very rough on your skin, these little tools, you just put it right over and you just press down and it pops it. Um, from what I just did on my son, it was definitely less aggressive than when I usually would pop anything. Yeah, a little bit less painful. And he said a little bit less painful. So there's, there's different ones. We've got... And then on the other side, it's more like a wire. I think that you will figure out a technique that works good for you. And which ones work the best on which areas. Now, I had a lot of trouble on his nose. I was really worried about pressing too hard. and But you definitely just have to try them. And figure out what works best for you, what works good on the nose, what works good on the face, which one works good on pimples, and you will become crafty in the art of popping blackheads and pimples. Blackheads are usually really hard to pop because most of the times you don't even see them, they're under the skin. Yeah, and you have those things that you put on your nose, you pull it off and all the blackheads are gone. Oh, the Biore strips? Yeah, they don't work for me. No? No. They they don't pull out any blackheads. And I can't find the wrapping paper. I mean, the, uh, you know what I mean. I don't know where it is. Can you, there's a bunch of stuff inside the gar in the box. Okay. There's probably. Sorry. So this is the kit. It comes with one, two, three, four, five pieces. And it's a zipper case, so you just zip it up and put it away when you're not using it. But just make sure that when you're done using them that you clean them in soapy water and then with alcohol to make sure that there's no bacteria left on them because you definitely don't want to be breaking the skin. You're not really breaking the skin, but you don't want to be breaking the skin or putting these, if you're not cleaning them, onto your skin because you're just going to end up with more acne. So you definitely need to make sure that you sanitize these. You just clean them, soapy water, and then alcohol. Alcohol wipes, alcohol in a bottle, and just wipe them off and make sure that any pus bacteria is gone and that's it the only other thing that it comes in a baggie like this and so I would say to cut this off the bag and keep this inside because it tells you what each tool is meant for you know, the scraper, angle scraper, extractor stick, flat loop extractor, spoon extractor, and arrow extractor. So this is a sticker on the outside of the bag it came in. I would, I'm going to cut this and then keep it inside just so I have uh, this. And it gives you um, some directions, like for pimples, we recommend the flat loop. And it tells you apply a downward pressure repeat until the white has has been removed so it has some instructions here i just would recommend that you cut this off the plastic wrapper and keep it inside 
Alrighty, thanks for watching. I hope we didn't gross you out too much. What are you laughing? Mm -hmm. So oily. <laughs> if you could just see all the oil that's coming up. It's like an oil bath. Does it hurt? Yeah, it's all hot. Oh, that one popped a big old pimple, that one. It hurts a lot? Mm -hmm. So that one, I don't know. I'm trying to make it so they can see that it, it popped the... So I guess you find your blackheads and then you take the loop and you push down and then you drag it towards you. It doesn't cut or anything. It's hurt, it's hurt on the sore areas around the pimple. Is that your stomach? That's your stomach. My stomach. So I think that the logic of this is you're not squeezing it and causing like, you know, pressure sore, you know, how when you squeeze it, you got to like really press down, squeeze the daylights out of it. So there's different size loops. And I, what I think is you just have to figure out which one, which ones work the best for you. I'm gonna try to. I need, I need a better. Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> it just keeps falling when I. All right, let me. It has a set. Of all different ones so what I think is you got to find one that really you get comfortable with and works great for you it says these little ones here are for like popping pimples but I, I'm gonna try that on some of his blackheads because he's got tiny pores not huge monsters I'm going to Stridex you, try to get rid of some of the oils here. It may burn because you got open from where it pops some blackheads and pimples. So definitely when I'm doing that, I'm, it's like releasing the oils that's under your skin. <laughs> You're super annoying. Me? <laughs> Thank you. Got a big pimple right over here. Great. Well, what you're supposed to do is wash your face, exfoliate to get all the crap off your skin. So 
I'm going to try this one. <clears throat> That's the one with the little hole. Yeah, just get it, to get it done. Just do it. Just do it. Oh, don't you trust these? Not really. Me neither. I was watching some videos and some of them that I mean they're like magic it was pretty amazing watching how some people are like they're like the pimple wizards You just put it around the black head and then push and then it starts to come out and drag towards you. Painful? A little. That one, I saw it. Boink! It, it, it was, uh, flying. Definitely wouldn't do this when you're planning on going out anywhere because your face is going to be red from, uh, you know, somebody poking on it. Oh, it went flying. I hope you saw that. I felt it. It was magical journey. I of, felt a little pop. It it definitely it. That hurt. It went flying. So you just press and drag, and unfortunately, it looks like it could get a little bit painful. But you know, if you're doing this to yourself, it's your, pretty bad. If you're doing it to yourself, everything's less painful when you do it to yourself. But now your your forehead looks like there's been a war. I wish I could get it to um, get some of the pores on your nose, but I don't want to press too hard. Hit me, sugar. <laughs> I'm just afraid to get too assertive on your nose and, you know, cause pain. Like, you know. Trust me, everything you do hurts, so. I'm worried about this one. It's pretty big. It's going to get me. Ooh, ooh. I heard it. <laughs> Sorry. That one. That one got. So, yeah. I mean, you can see that his face looks like it's been abused now. Kill me. So, you're not going to want to do this when you're getting ready to go out. Because, like, that one. It went flying again. Oh, hush, bud. That one, too. You can definitely... I know this is a gross... going to be a very gross video because there's lots of pimple juice flying. But... I see that it's probably better on your skin than when you take two fingers oh, definitely. and squeeze the hell out of it. It's <sighs> less aggressive on your skin. It's just pressing, really. You're hitting both sides of it.
My dog is extremely patient and allows me to do terrible things to him. Hey. And my son is very patient and allows me to try all these weird... We have one inside your mustache. Allows me to do all these terrible things to him. You say allow, but it's, it's going to cost you. Yeah, he's like charges me per per inconvenience. Per terror of his body. So when you're all done with this, the best thing to do would be to use your regular cleanser to clean up the oils and stuff that you've just brought out. But yeah, it definitely works and it's I think if it's it's probably going to be more of a practice and things will get easier once you If I was able to have two hands, I would stretch the skin this way and then and the same with his nose. I have to hold my camera because it keeps falling on him and I don't want him to get hurt. So, but yeah, you can see I definitely got some stuff going and then, uh, you know, his face looks really red. Are we done now? We are, but let me clean your face real quick before you. So I would say that this is a good thing Nice. It's pretty neat. It is, but it's going to take some practice as you're doing it, and then just make sure you clean everything. You clean your tools and and uh, sanitize them, but also make sure you clean the face and get all the oils off that you just brought up, so it doesn't, you know, turn into more acne. <laughs>